Hi Leo, welcome to another love reading of yours. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Some of the energies of the cards here can be flipped. So feel free to switch the energies, vice versa. Uh, time is fluid as you know. You could have dealt with this energy or will be dealing with in the near future. And of course, if you do need a person reading, that information is going to be down for you. I really like this. All right. The mutual energy between you and the person you're dealing with is the emperor here. Okay. So I think you're both trying to take control of the situation is what I'm getting. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, right? But uh, if I try to see it at the other way, is that more? Either both of y'all are trying to take control of the situation because this is the mutual energy or this is you both trying to set healthy boundaries all right maybe there was a lack of boundaries and boundaries were crossed earlier okay and uh, there was one person or both of y'all right like where y'all just didn't have any um there was like no cut like you know cut as in like what i mean is that um you guys were just constantly hurting each other you know or you guys were just trying to take each other for granted all right but now you guys are both taking control of the situation which is very very nice um your feelings towards this person with a heart print okay either you want commitment from this person or this is how you look at this person okay that you're wanting commitment from this person or this is what you're wanting to offer this person okay you want something traditional with this person and this you feel this is a very spiritually guided connection all right their feelings towards you is they want a brand new beginning in love with you all right this person is in love with you they really really love you a lot and they want a renewal in love what i see here is that probably because you guys put in boundaries, right? Or one of y'all had heavy boundaries. There could have been a separation or breakup that has happened here, right? And that's why with three of swords is what your blockage is. Your blockage is um, the separation, the breakup, all right? And probably the blockages that you guys are not being able to get over it yet. You both are still living in pain. You both are still going through this emotional trauma. Because this should have been in the reverse if you guys are recovering, all right? So yeah, I think the blockage is that you guys are still living in that hurt and pain. You guys are both still very, very hurt. Why is the emperor here? Why is the emperor here? Exactly. So there was probably a final decision that was made. And when the boundaries were set, there was a breakup. There was a separation, like I said. Two people not seeing eye to eye. Maybe one person just did not really like the boundaries or did not really like that you told them how they should be treated. And that's when they realized that we're not on the same page. And that's where there was a separation and a breakup. Like I said, right? Healthy boundaries. And that's where you realize whether this relationship is meant for you or not. I think there was a final decision made with the uh, judgment here, okay? And um, with the eight of pentacles here, right? I think you guys are very focused on yourselves or someone's very focused on their work or just burying themselves into work, all right? So that they can distract themselves from the situation. And with the four of pentacles in reverse here, I feel that you're releasing something. You're detaching from something that you were very, very, um, um, very possessive about, okay? You could have held on to this connection for a very long time because you once deemed this connection to give you a lot of stability and security, but you're finally letting it go because you're putting in the boundaries. Bossing up. Someone's making boss moves. And that's why there's a split. All right. Now for the higher film. Where's the Hierophant here? Give me one more card for the Knight of Swords. Give me one more card for the Knight of Swords. So you definitely want a commitment from this person, okay? We have the King and the Queen at the bottom of the deck. This is, uh, this is a divine couple, okay? The king and the queen is when actually the relationship comes into fruition, okay? It actually uh, takes itself to the 3D world, okay? The king of cups, the, um, the king of swords, everything is just still in um, the 2D world, okay? But in the 3D world, this is the king and queen and we have this at the bottom of the deck, which is like a divine couple. This is a very divine connection, all right? But yeah, I think with the half and the Knight of Swords and the Ten of, Ten of Cups here, right? You want to rush into this person with commitment, okay? 
and or you really really want this why because this person emotionally fulfills you okay this person makes you very 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 happy and you're wanting to rush into this person now you want this connection now all right and it's almost like you feel you're divinely guided to this person okay you feel this person is in your life for a reason and you're very in for uh, this person to offer this person stability and commitment um why is the ace of cups here and their feelings person probably even if this is not someone who has a brand new who's wanting a brand new right a uh, uh, brand new beginning in love right i feel this person is very very burdened okay because probably you are not you were not being able to offer this person a commitment earlier because with the queen of pentacles in reverse you're dealing with someone who's either um a lockdown woman or you're dealing with a married woman okay someone who's probably um wanting to leave a long-term commitment or a marriage or someone who's been left all right but uh, with the Ten of Wands here, this person was very, very pressurized and they were feeling very overwhelmed with this entire situation. And I think with the Ace of Cups here, this person is choosing to love themselves first, is what I'm getting. Probably because you were not wanting to offer this person earlier. And that's why there was a separation. And now that you're wanting to offer it to them, right? They don't see it coming. But with the Ten of Wands here, it's a draining energy. It's draining them out. And that's why, that's why they're choosing to love themselves. And with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse, yeah, I feel this person is not very grounded. This could be someone who's very, very focused on their financial independence or just focused on themselves and nothing and nothing but the finances. They're not focused on the relationship. They're very, very focused on themselves. That's what you're that's the kind of person you're dealing with. And with the page of cups in reverse and the four of swords in reverse, right? I feel this person is very, very restless about the situation, restless about what happened in the past. And with the page of cups in reverse, yeah, this person is choosing to see things in a very realistic view, okay? They don't want to make any more unrealistic moves towards you. It's like they are um, they have a reality check. So maybe earlier this person was living in a fairy tale in some fantasy land. And now they know what they're dealing with, all right? And that's driving them nuts. Why is the Three of Swords here as the blockage? swords the tower and nine of swords in reverse so i feel that this that there could have been a breakup that happened all of a sudden okay there could have been a big big shake up of a foundation okay or there could have been a huge realization that someone had okay with the three of swords here it's caused a lot of stress and anxiety between you guys and with the tower here, there was probably a huge even realization or like an epiphany right and with the nine of swords in reverse here uh it has you or them one of you okay getting into that negative spiral okay and it's like it's over escalated your anxiety and stress and now things have gotten completely worse after this tower moment there was anyways a separation and with the tower moment whatever happened all of a sudden right this person is going nuts this person's going crazy and they're not being able to handle this is what i'm getting and that's the biggest blockage out here that this person is thinking of the worst they're manifesting their negative thoughts into reality is what i'm getting Again, this person could have realized how much they love you and now they want to offer you a commitment. But with the tower here and the three of swords, you're right. This person is going through a lot of emotional trauma. They're not healing from it yet. They haven't been able to come to terms with the end of the relationship is what I'm getting. Okay, what action will you take towards this person is the page of swords in reverse. So you have nothing to say to them. You're just not saying anything. You're just watching, looking and spying. But from a distance but you're choosing not to talk because you're just either playing mind games or you just have nothing to say to them where's the page of swords in reverse because you realize your self-worth and value and now you have huge trust issues with this person you have huge trust issues okay you really wanted this commitment from this person okay like literally you were like wanting it now because this person was emotionally fulfilling you all right but um I guess when this person did give you the stability and security that you wanted right now 
you're just watching them probably or you don't even have anything to say good to them okay because with the empress here i feel that you realize your worth your value you are the empress here okay you're very self-reliant very abundant um you take care of yourself okay and you realize that you deserve much more than um what has been offered to you it's almost like you know what you feel you're whole you're complete you don't need anyone to fulfill you or you don't need anyone to complete you anymore you are very much in reality check right now and um you realize that um what was being offered to you you were giving more than what was being given back to you is what i'm getting so yeah with the knight of wands here you're giving up on this connection okay and it's almost like you're making you're making like a final decision with the judgment and with the judgment here you're making a very assertive decision of giving up on this connection. You don't want to fight for this anymore. And with the Nine of Wands, your guards are super high up, way high up. And with the King of Pentacles, I feel that you're going to focus on yourself, your stability, your growth, and uh, you're being more committed to yourself. But you're making a final decision of not giving into this person anymore because you have very you have trust issues with this person. Okay. This person could have done wrong to you or there could have been something in the past that was done wrong to you and now you don't believe in this person anymore. That's why you don't want to say anything. You just want to focus on your own growth and abundance. This person with the Knight of Wands in reverse here, this person is now feeling overwhelmed. They want this new beginning with you. But with the Queen of Pentacles in reverse here, they feel that you are probably someone who's not wanting to invest in them anymore. Okay? They see you copping out. They see that you're not investing into them anymore. They see that you're very focused on yourselves and not on them. And which is, again, which, which is draining them out. That's the second story that I'm getting. But with Ace of Cups, this person wants a brand new beginning with you. But it's stressing them out because you're not paying any heed to them. Why is this person the Knight of Wands in reverse? So this person now is like all over the place. They don't know what to do. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? They're very in and out, in and out, in and out. But they're holding back. Something's not moving forward because they're holding back. Why is the Knight of Wands in reverse here? I think it's because they're very overwhelmed and they don't know what to do about the situation. See? With the Seven of Swords here, this person is trying to ignore or strategize the situation. I think they're trying to sneak in. Okay, the Knight of Wands in reverse is someone who's trying to give you emotional baits, okay, and trying to keep you within the connection. But with the Seven of Swords here, this person's wearing a false mask. Or this person is trying to sneak in communication, okay? That sneaky communication that's coming in. Because they realize with the Queen of Cups in reverse here that you are very, very emotionally hurt. They realize you're emotionally very closed off. And they know that you walked away, okay? And now this person wants a reconciliation. Because with the High Priestess here, okay, you could have given this person the silent treatment or you're just trusting your intuition. And with the Four of Pentacles in reverse here, I think this person is releasing whatever they were holding on to or they realize you've released them and now they realize with the six of pentacles that this person wants they want forward moment with the charioteer and they now want to have a reciprocity they want equal give and take in this relationship they now want to give you what you've always wanted that's why they're not wanting to probably rush in with communication right and they want this brand new beginning with you all right, that's why. Why is that? You have the likely outcome is the Ace of Wands here. Why is the Ace of Wands here is the likely outcome? Why is the Ace of Wands here is the likely outcome? See, someone's juggling and someone's still emotionally shut off. Someone's very shut off emotionally. Give me Two of Pentacles. Why is the Two of Pentacles here? Because they're fearing rejection. Now they want to come in. They want to release the tension. And now they want to come in and work with you. Okay. They want a peaceful resolution. They don't want to fight anymore. They don't want no drama anymore. They want to come in. This is more like let's build, let's talk. Let's work together. Okay. This is someone who wants to cooperate with you. They want to compromise with you. They want to invest their energy, their emotions. And they want to build with you. They want a brand new beginning with you but with the two of pentacles here they're very indecisive because they're fearing rejection this is someone who doesn't know if you're going to accept the offer that they're going to make or no they're very indecisive but they definitely want a brand new beginning with you and it's coming in so it's going to be i think it's going to be up to you whether you want this or not because you throughout i see that someone is very emotionally shut off here because now you realize your worth and value you wanted all this once upon a time but 
since this person did not give this to you now you're just going to move on and do you is what i'm getting once you had once you've put in the healthy boundaries right that's where the breakup came in but now they want to work on this with you but they're just fearing rejection they don't know if you're going to accept them back or not that's why they're trying to sneak their way inside so that's what i have for your leos i hope this reading resonates with you leave your comments below like share subscribe and i'll see you next time bye, -bye.